Well, they did everything right. They created a product, took orders online, and then shipped it to the port of Long Beach. And that's where one big Hanukkah decoration has been stalled for the last 50 days. NBC4's Gordon Takamatsu has the story. It's called Dynaka the Hanukkah Dinosaur. This is the prototype designed months ago, produced at a factory in China right afterward. 118 bucks, says their website, inflation pump and giant dreidel included. Be the cutest house on the block. We, you know, ordered them appropriately in, in September, and they were on a, a boat headed to us before October. For Lauren Nelson of West Hills. Zoom in, here's our boat right here. The past two months have been a special kind of torture, one that's included false alarms. Alarms. We were so excited we were moving. And disappointment after disappointment, made worse by the fact that Hanukkah starts early this year, this coming Sunday, in fact, and the one and only product he sells. If we had another month, uh, maybe we'd get these in time. Is specific to that holiday. You can guess the next part. More than 200 pre-ordered Hanukkah dinosaurs are currently sitting in a container off the port of Long Beach. The ship they're sitting on has moved exactly one time in 50 days. Our boat moved closer to the port and for about eight hours, we thought maybe today's the day. But then it moved right back to where it had been. Lauren knows this because he checks an app to see where the one high 625 is five times a day. He can even see photos of the boat. What he doesn't know is why it's been stuck offshore longer than just about every other vessel in the log jam. Some boats arrive and don't ever anchor at all. Um, and most boats have experienced very short wait times. We called Port of Long Beach for comment earlier today. A spokesman acknowledged that Lauren's boat has indeed been anchored offshore for 50 days and says he'll look into the one high 625 situation for some answers. Meantime, with every passing day, Lauren's hopes for delivery before the holiday dwindles. It's not so much the refunds he'll have to issue that devastates him. It's letting his customers and their kids down. But we feel terrible and like we couldn't deliver. He's already told customers not to expect Dinoka in time for Hanukkah. Yet another retailer who did everything right but could not have foreseen this unprecedented crisis. In West Hills, Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News.